recording. So you want to select your controller, in this case LEC25, select your actuator, in this case an LAR55171 with a 4 to 1 gear ratio, thread direction, right handed, thread type, internal, pitch in this case is going to be 16 threads per inch, thread depth 10 millimeters is just fine, at this point you're going to want to save everything to the controller. <clears throat> now after saving it's going to clear this output and it's going to display a linear home. That's how you know everything's working just fine. Now you're going to want to do a teach function. This will teach you the height of the part so you don't have to know anything or enter any parameters in. You do have the option of typing something in there as well. Now once the teach function has successfully ran run then it's going to come up with this right here. It's going to tell you some, some different parameters. And you can just click OK. You don't have to think too much about that. Now in this case, you're going to want to uh, select all the different functions that you can. Now at this point, you can run the program. It just won't have any of these unchecked boxes um, you know, as a function in the, in the program. So right now, we're going to check the line at height. We're going to rotate and reverse to find the first thread. And we're going to do a check thread clearance at the top. Make this a 0.3 for this particular part. Now we're going to click save all to the, to the controller. Once it's saved, it will clear this output. And we'll display linear home. Now you're ready and off and running to do a single cycle. And at this point, all right. At this point, it displays all of the different checks and and functions that have happened. So in this case, it comes in and checks the height. It's saying it's okay. It's saying it's checking that threads are aligned. In this case, they are. It's checking the 10 millimeter depth, and it actually goes past the 10 millimeters to be certain that you have reached a 10 millimeter point. Um, it does a push-pull test for thread pitch, and in this case, it passes our clearance um, parameter. And then it retracts to the home position, and it tells you how long each cycle takes. And that is.